welcome back for this look i am pulling out my tardis pro palette and with the first shade i'm taking fierce as my transition and of course you know transition shades go through your crease so that's what i'm doing blending it with this real techniques brush and then i took vintage and brightened up my inner corners well the inner part of my eyelid and then I went with Vamp to darken the outer V of my lid. I patted that with this Morphe brush, just any flat shader brush would do. And then of course blend that out. Then I went in with No Filter to add more of a warmer magenta color since Vamp is a lot more cool tone. And I just blended that through my crease. And then I added Vamp again, just in case I lost that intensity of that color, and of course blend that away with no filter. And then I cleaned up that line with a makeup wipe. Then I took my favorite concealer, the sharp, whoa, the shape, whoa, the tart shape tape, and cut my crease. I did a half cut crease, so just the first half of your eye is gonna get cut with the concealer or foundation or whatever you use to cut your crease. This tiny Sigma brush is so good. It's my new fave. I didn't film it, but I decided to extend that cut crease towards my inner corner. Then I took my pastel goth palette from Kat Von D and took the color Dope and filled in that cut crease. And then I added more vamp to blend the two colors together. And took more of that no filter color on my crease to bring the warmth back. And then for my eye highlight, I took Kat Von D's Alchemist palette and the color purple amethyst and of course highlighted my inner corner and my brow bone. Then to add some fun, I took Too Faced Glitter Glue and put it in between Dope and Vamp and added that. And then I put Go Get Glitter's Antarctic Glitter on top. It's like this nice iridescent holographic glitter. Chunky and fine. I love this brand. It got it in the trio with two other colors. Duh, one plus two is three. Then back to the Tarte palette, I took Mod and put that in my lower lash line and blended that out. Then to darken it up, I used No Filter again, but this time closer to the lash line. And then I added more sparkles to the bottom lash line and popped on some lashes. Then I took the Alchemist palette again to highlight my face with amethyst, so cheekbones. Tip of the nose and bridge of the nose. Then another Kat Von D product, her Everlasting Liquid Lip in the color Witches. My favorite black lipstick. And that's all folks thank you so much for watching this video i'm probably going to upload another one next sunday so stay tuned thanks for subscribing thanks for supporting me it really means so much thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you